Hello and welcome to DEPSA Explainers. My name is Paul Morillas and I'm the director of CIDOP. Today I want to talk about the EU global strategy and the EU's role in the world. And there is one main point that I would like you to take with you after the video. The UGS embodies a new way to understand the EU's engagement in world affairs and speaks as much about the EU's role in the world as the EU itself. The UGS starts with the sentence, we live in existential crisis, both within and beyond the European Union. This contrasts with the ESS opening statement, which was Europe has never been so prosperous or secure, nor so free. So what has changed in the last 13 years? In 2003, during the ESS time, the EU had a, a big crisis internally, but in EU foreign policy only. The EU was deeply divided over the invasion of Iraq, but this division did not permeate into the integral parts of European integration. That is, in European integration matters, the European Union was living in, in a happy moment, right after um, the launch of the Euro, um, before the enlargement to the Central and Eastern European countries, and the EU was then a successful integration project. And this was even despite the failure of the European constitution that would happen later. In the UGS in 2016, the EU is surrounded by crisis, both, both internal and external. Internally, we are witnessing the effects of Brexit, of the refugee and the Euro crisis, and also the politicization of European integration. That means that the EU is becoming more contested. Externally, we are surrounded by a ring of fire, the so-called ring of fire, which happens at the eastern and southern neighborhoods of the European Union. And we are also witnessing the effects of multipolarity and, for instance, the rise of uh, Russia as an international actor. So whereas in 2003, the US protect, uh, projecting itself towards the world, in 2016, the EU is protecting itself from the world. We have seen the change from the normative power Europe to the resilience of European foreign policy, from multilateralism to the new global framework for um, global governance, or from regionalism to cooperative regional orders. All these aspects downscale the EU's ambition uh, in global affairs. But the effects of this crisis on European integration are far from linear. On the one hand, we see the reinforcement of joint institutional initiatives. That is, such, things such as PESCO have been launched very recently. Uh, the Commission's involvement in defense is also a groundbreaking development, and EU-NATO cooperation is also on good grounds. At the same time, we see the reinforcement of national positions along the lines of the consequences of the European integration crisis. And here, Macron's European intervention initiative speaks about this reinforcement of national dynamics. So in all, the EUGS has opened the door to joint action, but as always, it remains up to the member states to decide whether they want to act together or by themselves. The enabling factor exists and it's called the UGS. The way it is developing in the next years, it remains to be seen. So thanks very much for uh, watching and stay tuned for the next steps I explainer.